Um, I think some casseroles can even be company worthy or date night worthy, and this is one of them. What do I love about casseroles? One, you can make them ahead of time, so you could make this the morning of that you're going to serve it and get it in the refrigerator, and that way you don't have to be in the kitchen the whole time if you've, if you've got company coming over or you're doing a special date night. Um, two, most everything's in there, so you know basically you can throw together a salad, maybe um, you know. Uh, uh, pick up a loaf of nice bread and dessert and you've got dinner is done and you look like a rock star and I'm all about looking like a rock star. So this is a kind of an upscale um, delicious casserole. It's a shrimp and crab casserole that I think you're going to love. Got a couple of pans going here and in each of the pan I'm going to do a half of a stick of butter. Now you could certainly cut back on this but seafood and butter you know it's, it's all goodness. So in this pan over here I'm going to along with the butter, do one block of cream cheese. And again, you can lighten this up and you could do the light cream cheese. With all this great stuff going on, you're not gonna really notice if you lighten it up. It's still gonna be wonderful. So cream cheese, a half a stick of butter. This is a really rich casserole. It's gonna serve a lot of people. And it's a great way to serve seafood at home without spending a ton of money because we're not using really expensive seafood, and if you have a little seafood, it goes a long way in this casserole. And now I'm going to add one can of cream of mushroom soup. And this is going to be kind of the sauce that binds everything together. Also a little bit of dry white wine. Doesn't have to be the expensive stuff. I'm using like a Chardonnay, a Pinot Grigio, and sometimes we just have here at this, uh, you know, in our studio and at home, these little little bottles of wine um, that are perfect for cooking. I get questions all the time. You know, do you have to use really expensive wine when you're cooking? Absolutely not. Um, you can pick up these little guys for you know a buck or so, and they just add some great flavor. All right, so I'm going to let that kind of hang out and let this sauce melt a little bit, and I'll get get back to you in a little bit, sauce. You do your thing. Now, in my other pan, I'm going to get to work on saute, uh, sautéing some vegetables. And we're going to do um, what they call down south the holy trinity, which is celery, peppers, and onions. So I'm going to dice up some celery. I have a fine dice. about three stalks of celery. Get that in there with my butter. Then I've got some scallions or some green onion. If you don't have that, regular onion would work fine too. I'm using three green onions, but maybe about a quarter of a cup of finely diced onion will also do the trick. I like the flavor of the, the green onions, the scallions in here, but like I say, either one will work. While I'm doing this, I've um, got to remind everybody about our next big night out. Just a few spots left for this one. We're headed to a wonderful restaurant in Manitowoc called Christopher's on Valentine's Day. So I was talking earlier this week, sometimes, well, Valentine's Day falls um, in the middle of the week this year. It's on, I think it's on a Thursday night, actually. Um, so, you know, sometimes it's, you're sitting home alone on Valentine's Day, and that's no fun. So come join us. A five-course meal, it's going to be amazing. Um, each course paired with wine. So call today to make reservations. You can go online, fox11online.com. Click on the Living tab, and then you'll see a big box there that says Big Night Out. So hope you'll join us. It's going to be a ton of fun. They always are. We go um, Once a month or so, we go out to a different area restaurant, and... They really do the best of the best. So, all right, now I added some green and some red pepper. Red pepper just for a little bit of color. And I just want to saute this for a minute or so until it starts to get a little soft. Also going to add some sliced mushrooms. If you don't do mushrooms, you can leave them out. Not a biggie. And then I want to season these with some salt and pepper. To my sour or my cream cheese and my butter and my cream of uh, mushroom soup over there, 
I'm going to add a, about a half of a cup of milk. We love our lamer's milk in the glass bottle. Produced locally here and like to support local folks. And this is basically just starting to kind of come together. Get nice and creamy. The cream cheese is starting to melt. My daughter Ireland is a huge fan of all seafood. She loves shrimp and, and crab. And whenever we go out to eat, of course, she wants to order it. And uh, it's expensive, you know. Sometimes shrimp dishes are $20 or more an entree. So what I've told her is, you know what, we can make that at home. No, you're not ordering that tonight. We'll make it at home. So that's really what we do. She gets her seafood, but we make it at home and save some money. And that's why I love this casserole recipe, because you don't need a ton of shrimp. You can just use even a quarter of a pound, quarter of a half a pound. You can go to the, the um, you know, the seafood uh, department at Festival and just get a little bit. And we've got so much other great stuff going on in this recipe that you don't need a ton. So I like to buy shrimp in like the two pound bags, uh, frozen shrimp, and then you can just pull out what you need when you need it. And I think that's a great way to, um, you know, buy shrimp. I buy those two pound bags when they're on sale, frozen, and then you can just quickly thaw it out, run it under some cold water. So I'm adding some shrimp here. This is nice big shrimp. You could use a little shrimp. It's all going to work just wonderfully in this. This is, sauce is looking perfect, so I'm going to turn that down. And now I want to season this with a little bit of Old Bay seasoning, which is just a wonderful all-purpose seafood seasoning. It comes in a little tin here, and it's something that you're going to find down south in all of the, you know, everybody's pantry there. It's basically got celery salt and um, red pepper and... Uh, black pepper, paprika, just some great all-purpose seasoning for seafood. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that just to give this casserole some great flavor. I'm just waiting for this shrimp to turn pink, which is going to happen very, very quickly. I don't want to overcook it because it's going to bake again in the oven. So that's a, one of those things I almost want to undercook it a little bit. Now. I love the crunchies on top of casseroles. That's my favorite part. So uh, I thought what would go really well with all this wonderful butter and seafood that we've got going on, uh, some great just buttery crackers, like a Ritz or a townhouse cracker. And they're real soft, so you can just use your hand and, and kind of crush them up that way. I'm going to melt a little more butter just to go with those crackers. And again, you can certainly cut back on the amount of butter we're using or just work out a little more if you're making this weekend hit the treadmill a little more this is a perfect recipe for a valentine's day too which i can't believe is right around the corner and lent okay so i'm just crushing up those croutons melting the butter and we're about ready to put this whole casserole together Our shrimp is starting to turn pink. Vegetables are starting to soften up a little bit. So at this point, I'm going to add the soup mixture to the shrimp and the veggies. Get that all combined. Just a little bit couple dashes of hot sauce. It won't be spicy. This is just going to get some good flavor. Just a Louisiana hot sauce, any type will do. And then I've got some crab meat. Um, this is a nice way to, way to buy crab meat now. Uh, they, it's actually, you can, canned crab meat would work fine in this recipe. Um, also, imitation crab meat would work fine. Uh, but this is actually something new that they're carrying at festival. It's in the refrigerator section, and it's crab meat that is, you know, kind of the best of the best. Um, so you'll find that in the refrigerator section of the grocery store. So I'm just going to do some of the crab meat. Fold that in there. And now we're ready. I don't want to break that crab meat up too much because I want everybody to know this is a shrimp and crab casserole.
So I've got a nice big casserole dish. Spraying it with cooking spray. In goes our mixture. This is super duper rich. So a little is going to go a long way. I love to serve this with uh, just even white rice or a rice pilaf and a nice salad. And as I said, some crusty bread for dipping. Uh, now on top of this, we're going to do our cracker mixture, the crushed crackers. A little bit of that melted butter, and then some Parmesan cheese, just to give it a nice brown, kind of cheesy topping. Mm. All right, come back with me. This is a winner. It's all bubbly, and the top is all golden. Got all that great crab and, and shrimp in there. Serve it with maybe some lemon wedges and a little parsley on top, and there you go. It's my buttery crab and shrimp casserole. This one is a winner. I think everyone in your family is going to love it. It's a, a casserole that is for sure dinner party worthy. Recipes on the website. You can also pick it up at an area of Festival Foods.